Arc 2, Poxura's Redemption and Tanuki Love. It seems that after all I've been through, saving the world from a planet glassing super weapon, stopping some batshit crazy scientists from doing Nazi stuff to Tanya, and risking my life and those of my best friends for their sakes only to be demoted and temporarily be suspended... You've got to be the most incompetent administration I've ever lived through. But at least you assigned me my old mission partner, who is better than my many others. And to be honest, I kind of like him as a person and someone I can get along with. It's just too bad my dad doesn't see him for who he really is, and if it weren't for my Tanuki familial loyalty... I wouldn't hesitate to get a little closer to him. I know he seems like a badass with Agent Texas going after primordial protogens and elder dragons. But I know deep down he's really a softy with a big heart and balanced and tough yet fluffy exterior. So, I guess those stories from my youth about kitsune princes in shining armor were wrong. Sometimes it seems the ones you really want are the regular ones with big ringed fluffy tails and a heart to match. So what if he's not this slick kitsune with the palace gained through fraud and manipulation when being a good person matters a whole lot more than money ever will and beyond basic needs? I'm also amazed at how you raised your little brother and sister almost entirely by yourself, not counting the help of that foxy lady Zanko and her seven tails. And I've come to be very fond of the people I'm with. And I now truly see how separating us agents based on race was beyond stupid. Those dragonborn, Agron and Sylvia, really care about that fairy girl without the toxic relationships we had as agents. Even if Agron is sometimes dumber than a box of rocks. But in a wholesome way. And then to see how that wholesome kitsune, Zanko, has been a real mother to Buck's siblings showing me that, even if they are rare, there are still some good kitsunes out there. But even still, I think the hardest thing for me in this coming mission and continuing to raise Titania is not falling in love with Buck. Natalia Whitetail It has been long since I remember that vision, the one that showed me the truly horrible life I've lived. And even though the passions have subsided, I still remember the words of what he said, and how I asked for mercy to undo the evil I've done, and die in peace. And even though I remember my request being granted, I see not a peace that will be a subjective experience, but a true peace not understood by the limitations of the rational mind. For I no longer seek the wars of the passions, but a true peace, not corruptible peace by oppression of my outward enemies, but the conquering of the true enemy within, Poxura Lensaro.